I'm Andreas Busk, and I'm the composer and sound designer of Dead Pets Unleashed. What you're watching right now is our game trailer. In the game, you play as Gordy, a punk musician and bass player who's desperately trying to get her big break with a punk band Dead Pets. Dead Pets Unleashed is packed with many games that are both crazy, quirky and gross. And now I'm gonna take you on a small tour of some of the music and sound design choices I made for the mini games of Dead Pets Unleashed. What you're watching is gameplay from one of the mini games that we call Band Dash. It's the end result of a long process of collaborations between the game director, game writers, artists, game designers and myself. For this part of the game I've composed six different songs complete with lyrics and recorded them with Danish vocalist Emma Knussen. In the game the player must hit different items coming at them. We designed the levels so that these items are timed with the riffs, breaks and melodies of the songs. I'd like to break down the process of writing a song for Band Dash. Here you see my audio software Ableton Live. This is where I write all the music for the game. Whenever the player plays the Band Dash minigame, the style of music is punk rock. One of my challenges was choosing a brand of punk rock that sounded authentic and wild but at the same time was accessible to players of the game that are not necessarily punk rock fans. As a result, I aim to make music and write lyrics that the player likes from the first time they hear it. The songs needed to be catchy, likable and fun so they wouldn't scare away the players by being too chaotic. This was a paradox because the music of the band in the game also had to channel the chaotic nature of actual punk rock. So for the game I developed my own brand of accessible punk music from a palette of certain instruments and our very talented singer Emma Knussen. I'll go over some key parts of my punk rock palette of Dead Pets Unleashed track by track. Here's the chorus from I'm Just an Animal, one of our band desk tracks. All the music for the game is made in the piano roll of these tracks. I record no actual guitars, basses, drums. I only ever use the mouse for this. I can do this partly because I've played in a lot of rock bands using real instruments. So I know how to make software sound like the real thing. I started with this guitar riff because it had that I need to buy a beer vibe. I thought that would be a great foundation for the song. This is done with the excellent Electric Sunburst Deluxe library. Actually this is two guitars. They're panned in each speaker and slightly detuned to give it a more rough sound. Here's the bass line for the song. I'm using the Ska B Rickenbacker for the bass throughout the game because it can be programmed very realistically with slides, pull-offs and hammer-ons. And down here we have the drums. I programmed them using Studio Drummer. There's a punk rock sample library in there that sounds very authentic. And down here we have Emma's vocals with the lyrics. These lyrics tie into the storyline of the game. As you can see down here, um, a lot of there's a lot of choirs in the chorus part. Even even I am singing a few tracks. It's not that I sing very well, but it's adding to the feeling of an overwhelming wall of sound uh, as the track is about to end. Here's another minigame from Dead Pets Unleashed. It's called The Excellent Egg Flipper. It's a crazy pinball game that takes place inside the uterus of the protagonist of Dead Pets Unleashed, 
Gordy. The minigame has a very simple loop. You fire an egg through the fallopian tube and you bounce it inside the uterus. After a short while, Gordy gets her period and blood appears. From this point on in the game, the gravity will increase and the difficulty setting will be much higher. Also, notice the change in music. And now the egg follows the menstrual blood and dies. The music has changed to a more tragic turn. And as I fire a new egg through the fallopian tube, uh, the music will change again to a more happy state. The music I made for the excellent Egg Flipper game is one of the weirder tracks I did. It features a happy part for the start of the game and a sad part for when the menstrual blood arrives and the egg dies. I can simulate how the transition will sound between these two parts by crossfading here in Ableton Live. These two very different pieces share one important thing. They have an identical chord progression. I composed it this way so the two parts can transition smoothly back and forth for when the eggs are dead or when they are alive. The happy part of this song is built on a ridiculous harmonic melody that's out of tune. Underneath this melody I got a very mixed set of instruments and vocals to add a bizarre and feverish feeling of being in unexpected territory. We've got a santur, an Indian instrument. Got some percussion and some crazy vocals and also a fiddle that just do the melody in unison with the harmonica. The happy part of the song also holds another version of the same thing with new instrumentation and a different beat. This gives a feeling of change that helps making the gameplay feel fresh. In this other part, I add an electric guitar playing the melody in unison with a violin. The melody is now slightly less wacky when this happens. But since I'm now shifting the percussive focus from Indian percussion to a disco drum machine, it all still stays in a sonic universe that's pretty ridiculous. For the sad part of the song, I used instruments that each on their own sounds melancholic or serious, as a strong contrast to the wacky vibe of the happy part of the song. I use a Mellotron here, because to me it really signals instant sadness. I made a choir, I added church organ, and did a, a sentimental sliding violin solo on top of it all. So let's try to hear it all and fade back into the happy part after a while. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andreas, the composer and sound designer of Dead Pets Unleashed. Keep an eye out for the launch of the game coming soon.